Right guys, welcome to today's first home workout. I'm not gonna explain what's happening in the news because I'm sure you've all heard, so you don't need me to repeat it on the vlog, but it's causing obviously a lot of us to have to start working out at home. And I thought I'd film my push day today to show you exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, um, and the reason behind the movements and what you should be doing now now you've got to work out from home. Obviously everyone's gonna have limited equipment. Some are luckier than others to have like dumbbells, maybe multi-gyms, but some of you might only have like a resistance band or a few sets of resistance bands. So we'll be showing you through how you can adapt movements to make them harder, what we should be aiming for, and the goal of a home workout to make it good enough for us to actually feel benefits from it. So first of all, we're going into this push session um, and yeah, we'll get into that now with a little bit of a voiceover. Right guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the home video series and in today's video, as I was saying, we have push and this is something that I've obviously kind of already got some equipment for and this is something that I want a lot of people to know is you can do a very, very, very good home workout with just resistance batten. So you don't need a ton of dumbbells, a ton of barbells. Um, you can see in this video, my bench is <laughs> literally made up of a ladder, uh, two speakers and some laminate flooring going across my patio slab. So you can get quite inventive. And I think that's the thing over the next few weeks when you are potentially off of the gym, you need to get inventive with what you're doing. Um, and that's going to be a big factor that's going to play down to how you can adapt some style movements to make them better for you. So all I've got is I've got some dumbbells, I've got the D bar handle resistance bands, and I've got the heavy duty orange band, which you'll see on the floor there. So that's all of the equipment that I currently have. I will try and potentially get some more, but I'm quite happy with this setup at the minute. I'll likely just get a little bit of heavier weight for these dumbbells, just so they're a little bit more challenging. So this is a dumbbell press flat bench uh, reps kind of to failure based on the weight and equipment I have. So I've got all of the attachments in terms of bands on the D handle bar here. So this set I did link on my Instagram story. Um, if you guys can't find them, I can obviously look to find them for you again. If you want me to pop them in the links for the buyer, just let me know. Um, but yeah, so you see I've also got the resistance bands in here with wrist cuffs on just to make them sit a little bit better. Um, ideally, the best way to have this would be to have like a rock or something for the bands on right on the bottom of the floor just so you can get a little bit more resistance from them but you can see as it kind of comes up to the ladder that's when the resistance starts um, and you get it more at the peak of the movement um, as you are coming up so it's um it, it worked out really really well in the end and i was quite impressed with uh, how it actually turned out um, and this is the thing you need to just get inventive like the dumbbells were probably never going to be enough for me to really feel a massive amount from them so just adding the resistance bands just made that far better for me in terms of actually getting more stimulus from it when we're doing home workouts what we want to try and achieve is maximum stimulus so you'll see that's why i take everything to failure there's no rep ranges in my work in my workouts and um, while i'm at home because i just want to take everything to muscular failure because where we're missing out on load we need to then make that up through things like muscle damage um, and actually just taking things to failure supersets drop sets and really just absolutely battering the muscle as much as we can um, for it obviously so it can so we can retain it um, and moving on to our next exercise this is a resistance band push-up so this resistance band I think is a maximum of 45 kilos and then a minimum of 25 kilos just by wrapping it around my back it made the, the common press up just 10 times harder um i'll be honest after my sets of the dumbbell press my chest was quite fried so moving on to this was fairly difficult and i really didn't get as many reps as i thought i would have but i definitely recommend getting one of those bands um alongside of the ones with the handles on just for certain movements which you'll see me do over the next kind of few weeks in my push pull and leg days so this is just a dumbbell a dumbbell raise i've not done a front raise for <laughs> probably like 10 years now and it was actually really nice to be able to do them because i forgot how how good they feel actually on the front delt because my pushing movements aren't really activating my front delts as much as they normally would it was nice to have these replacements in there for the home workouts Again, using the heavy 
weight bands with Cooper in the, in the shot. Um, this is a kind of a take on a chest fly. So you can do these with the handle ones and um, like they can be replicated just as fine by putting them into the door hooks or tying them up to the handle. But I actually feel these a lot more because this is such a heavy resistance band. As I get to the peak contraction, that just feels amazing compared to the other handle one. So I would probably keep this one up. Again, I think I've probably got like 12 reps here before I hit failure. Um, you want to just keep the tempo slow. And that's the biggest thing with these home workouts is you want tempo slow for every rep you want to make sure that you're holding at the contraction for as long as you can and really just making sure you're holding the contraction the tempo is nice and slow you're feeling that movement the whole way through and really just reaping every part of the movement as much as you can where obviously you can't like get the load feel from it normally okay um so moving on to some side dumbbell lateral raises again these are absolutely fine to do with resistance bands i'm just lucky enough that i managed to get some dumbbells off of my dad um he dropped these around and i think the accumulative weight on one dumbbell is about 25 kilo so i think this is about 15 kilo here so a common weight for me for a side lateral raise which was Quite challenging, um, just doing some singles here while holding onto the door, hoping the door doesn't fall down. <laughs> but um, find like surfaces you can hold onto or adapt movements for, and it will certainly make your life a lot easier for this. And, and you just gotta think outside the box. And I think a lot of the things you need to do is more sort of unilateral style movements. So where you might do a dual arm cable row, do a single arm cable row, where you might do a dual dumbbell lateral raise, do a single arm lateral raise, where obviously it's more focusing on one specific part of the muscle on one side, and then you can switch to the other. So this is the last movement in the push workout. So this is an overhead tricep extension. So using the heavy resistance bands on the door, I've then attached the D handles from the cuff set with um, some carabiners I bought from Amazon and then just pretty much turned it into an overhead tricep extension. It's quite unstable, but I'm hoping over the coming weeks that will get more and more stable and you can get a fair amount of reps through actually doing this. So I think I managed about 12 reps plus before I then go into the superset style with this. So I like to superset this with another movement, which you'll see coming up in a minute, basically where you go down to the floor, your elbows will then touch the floor. And then from there, all you basically do is just push forwards to the range of motion that you've got in front of you, which is obviously the floor. Um, and I really, really feel this uh, very, very well in like my lateral head and also my long head um, of the tricep. So it's kind of a nice all round finisher for me. And then superset this with another bit of triceps just to really finish off just some close grip press ups. I think I managed like five before I was just absolutely done. Um, and it was a very, very good workout for me, like to just change everything up and do something new. And I think that's the thing over the next few weeks, I'm gonna really enjoy just, just doing new things, which I've not done in a long, long time. Okay, right, welcome back. It is now the next day um, and we've got Paul today, but I will film that in another video. I just wanted to quickly talk about equipment and how you need to definitely get more inventive with your equipment when you are setting up your gyms over the next few weeks. So as you can see, obviously today, that was a ladder, a pack of flooring, some speakers, and that made a homemade bench off of like a sort of a lip in my garden. So it's gonna require you to get a little bit more creative with the surroundings that you have around you. And I think that's the most important thing to, to take away is that if you've not got a bench or if you've not got certain things which obviously would normally be so accessible in a gym, you need to think outside the box to be able to make these because some of us haven't got the budget, some of us do, they've got kick-ass gyms, but if you've not got the stuff which potentially you might need or might want, just think outside, think what you've got around your house, think what you can actually set up to allow you to mimic certain movements which potentially you have in the gym. Um, obviously, some things won't be uh, as accessible as you normally would, you're not gonna be able to like mimic a leg press really, 
but um, you can do certain things and I'll be showing you guys over the next couple of days all of my workouts in terms of what they entail and how they're going to work out. So next workout that will be up on the page is going to be pull, which I'll probably film either today um, or tomorrow, whenever I do the session, but I'll probably do it today. Um, and then I'll probably do a leg session as well and film that one based on all the equipment that's out there, which I used yesterday. So I don't want it to be too fancy because I know some of you guys only have resistance bands. You only have dumbbells. Um, as your minimum, okay? Some of you don't even have dumbbells, you just have resistance bands, which is fine. Um, and I wanna just kind of show you a cheap way of still getting in a good workout when you are training from home and using obviously all the techniques that we used in the last video. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Any questions about it, just let me know and um, I'll drop the next one soon and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.